doing it in Cardiff tonight, so get ready with me. My tan is looking a little patchy on the neck because I didn't redo it for the weekend. I probably should have, but I'm hoping I can fix this somehow. <laughs> it is currently 25 to 7. I have just under two hours to get ready. We actually have somewhere booked tonight, so I have to be on time, so wish me luck. I was thinking I'm just going for like a soft matte eye tonight, so hopefully that'll save me a bit of time instead of doing like a full glam. Don't worry though, it's still going to be very glam. I just set that cream bronzer and I'm adding the teensiest bit of depth using my Jordan Letitia, um, the new Definity palette. I couldn't think of the name of it then. And I used the shade Gaia. And I'm just setting and brightening up that lid. And I don't want to go for anything crazy as because it's getting a little bit cold now in Wales, I'm going to wear jeans out, I think. And I'm thinking of wearing, it's a two piece from Jaded London. It's like a pink denim jeans and corset. It's gorgeous. So I thought a nice soft ish look would go cute with the pink outfit and of course i had to add my smoky liner because i just can't do glam without it i'm just popping on a fresh pair of my favorite lashes of course the claudia kelsby ck2 and they just speak for themselves i'm obsessed let's move on to the skin i used this primer for the first time the other day in a video and i'm obsessed with it it's the nyx plump bright back primer just made my skin nice and glowy sticky just perfect for makeup obviously it's a primer so I just absolutely love primers like this. For foundation, of course, I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Longwear applied with my Claudia Kills Bee Beauty Blender. But I've been seeing so many people spraying their beauty blender with setting spray. That's genius. Why didn't I think of that? So I'm going to try it using the Beauty Crop Amelia Olivia Glow Milk Mist. Just give it a good little spray. I'm going to let it sink in for a sec. I feel like it has made it a little bit more glowy and hopefully it'll make it last longer as well. I'm just adding a little bit of foundation to that patchy tan. <laughs> These are my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I use the shade Medium 2 Ginger. I've got concealer in my eye. Ah! I literally can't see it on my left eye right now. It's so blurry, but the show must go on. How the hell? How I just managed that? I've got concealer in my eyelash. The new ones too. <laughs> that is enough chaos for one video, so hopefully everything else goes smoothly. Just set in my face, of course, you know the drill. Trigol Cosmetics Powder Puff and Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. My phone light just died, so that is great. Just added the Black Track All Smudge No Budge made by Mitchell Pencil to my waterline. That is literally one of my favourite steps with makeup. I just feel like it finishes everything off. Lini Baby Blush from Trigol Cosmetics. I'm going to very quickly put a little curl in my hair because I only have 40 minutes. I'm ready and on time and I've had a full outfit change. I didn't go... Oh, I've took my sleeve off <laughs> i didn't go for the denim two piece as it's so uncomfortable so i put this dress on but i got a little makeup on it because you should really put it on before my makeup but hopefully it'll dry out good thank you for watching